And welcome to Linux in School. This episode is about installing Ubuntu 2010. Now, on this series, I'm showing how easy it is for anyone to install a Linux and then start using it. Now, if you like this kind of content, if you wish to see, wish to see more of my videos, uh, you click on like or subscribe and click on that bell and you'll get notified right when I am releasing new content. Now, le leaving comments and asking questions will make sure that I will tackle things that you will find useful in the future. But let's get right to it. Here I am using the virtual manager called GNOME Boxes and I am going to start off with Ubuntu installing right away. Now another great example of how multilingual this world is. So I, I'll just pick English as we go further. Now I am using a virtual manager, so this will take a bit longer than a regular hardware installation, but I'm going to speed it up over that part. I'm doing a normal installation. Now a minimal installation is great if you're having a low powered laptop, an old laptop that you just want to use for web browsing and basic utilities, but I want to show you what comes as a default for Ubuntu so that you can start using it in your school right away. I am going to download updates. This will make it a bit slower and I'm going to install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. Now, you, if you have a very basic um, a generic device, uh, then you don't necessarily have to do this. But I have found out that if you have a, a little bit of um, an off-brand uh, device, you will possibly need those third-party um, software. Now I have to make the choice of how I'm going to partition my hard drive and it's going to say erase disk and install Ubuntu and that's what I'm going to do. And continue. Where am I? I am not in Berlin but I am in Germany. I'm going to type my username and my password and I'm going to be requiring to uh, use my password to log in. Now if your school is using Active Directory you can uh, nowadays click use Active Directory and you'll need to know your domain and other details uh, to get that one authenticating your users uh, right in there. So getting really ready to um, bring in Linux uh, mainstream, mainstream authentication as well. And this is it. Now I've just installed this operating system. Now I'm just waiting for it to copying files over. And this is also the time when um, the installer starts to get in new types of uh, those um, third party software that I ask and that's why it's going to possibly take a bit longer. So here we go. Um, in this installer, we have some interaction um, so that we don't have to stare at the screen. We can also start reading um, about the what types of um, software store we have.
we have the rhythm box music player but we can also use a Spotify for pictures the default application is Shotwell but we also have GIMP image editor which is uh, a necessity uh, at school and shortcut video editor which is actual the video editor as you can see from my side screen here that is the my um, choice of video editing on my hardware we have included firefox as the web browser um, you can use Chromium or any other. There, there is a ton of browsers that we can use. And if you want to install Chrome uh, from Google, then that is also possible. So here we have almost finished copying files. Um, and then the, uh, the real installation uh, will start the installing a system. Um, LibreOffice is the uh, Office suite that it is prepackaged with uh, this distribution. And then the settings. So what we have is that there's a full blown um, suite for settings, uh, taking care of our Wi-Fi, networking, Bluetooth, background, appearance, notifications, and updating, getting onto our online accounts, etc. So that is what we'll be looking in a minute. Installation is complete. You need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. So let's restart. Press enter and uh, we are back in my boxes. Let's see if this was a success. Can we get into a brand new bright desktop environment we should get into the greeter and to log in A little bit of a suspense and here we are yes indeed we have a lift off we do have our desktop environment ready to be used now this GNOME desktop works pretty much like any other you can connect to your online accounts um, google microsoft accounts right off, off the bat um, you can opt in or opt out to help improve ubuntu um, and this would go to canonical privacy location services are off you can also put them on and here then here we have all different kinds of ready packaged software to install apps okay so by clicking open software now we are going to be able to then install from the ubuntu software all different kinds of um, 
apps. Now, the way this desktop works is that from the bottom we can open up our all our apps and close it and on the sidebar here we have our default icons now as you can see on my own I am using Ubuntu as well um, I have put in different programs the ones that I use uh, mainly um, on the desktop we have a few icons uh, so a shortcut to home which opens up the files app where you can then browse your uh, files should you have any already in there um, installing checking what you already have installed and doing updates this is the graphical interface for that there's an already an update I'm going to remind me later once I uh, see what else there is uh, settings as I said your network you can see about what kind of a system you're running your software updates this is another way where you can go and see what software do you need what additional drivers what developer versions and if you want to live patch so those are all here from your settings you can change your date and time um, you can look at your display you can also look at your default applications and change them if you so wish and that is what I have for you right now um, very quickly just here on the sidebar Firefox as a default browser Thunderbird for your mail files for, of course for your file um, browser um, rhythm box for your music LibreOffice writer and also the calculator and the impress um, for your slides uh, software and help is on the way now you can remove from favorites and you can add to favorites just by selecting your icons so that is thank you for watching if you want to follow um, this kind of content please remember to subscribe if you like this video and you're all still watching then click on that like button and make YouTube know that this type of content needs to be spread even wider now if you are looking for any kind of primary years content about technology and technology usage leave a comment and ask a question follow me on Instagram follow me on my Twitter PYP with Nico and let's Stay in touch and I'll see you in the next one.